Hey, Ben, Jen, good afternoon, everyone. You know, typically when people post bond, they leave through the front door of the courthouse. But as Ben and Jen have just said, a uh, little bit different today for Michelle Traconis. Michelle Traconis's mother and sister entered Stamford Superior Court, fully expecting to be escorting Michelle out after she posted bond. Instead, Traconis was escorted by police into Stamford Hospital, walking under her own power with an undisclosed illness. Her attorney, Andrew Bowman, addressed nothing as he walked out of court, but one of Fotis Dulos' lawyers did. I want to take the opportunity to thank the judicial marshals who have made this process, which was a long process and had some bumps in the road, uh, as easy as it could be. Attorney Kevin Smith describing the marshals as the hallmark of professionalism. We are happy that this part of the process is over. Mr. Dulos is going to be coming out shortly. Um, and heading home. As promised, a couple of moments later, Dulos emerged from the courthouse, saying nothing before getting into an SUV and heading back to his Farmington home. He is relieved, as you might expect, and we are looking forward to the process of now defending this case going forward in court. And Attorney Smith reminded the assembled media that with a gag order in place, he would not be addressing any of the alleged evidence anymore. But immediately he was asked why Fotis Dulos had an axe in his garage. The man lives uh, in a rural area. I got one in my uh, garage as well. Police confiscated that axe when they arrested him at his home on Tuesday. Now, Dulos, in order to post his $6 million bond and be released with GPS tracking today, he had to fork over $420,150. As for Tricona, she had a $1.5 million bond. She had to come up with $105,000. $150. We're live here in Stamford outside Superior Court. Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News. All right, Tony.